Hello, in this video I want to show you how to uh, upgrade from uh, CCFL to our UP540 LED kits. Uh, this screen is made by Sharp. Uh, the screen part number is LQ150X1LGN2. This is a 15 inch screen, it's been used in a lot of industrial applications and especially this one, you see the two connector here is using an L shape of the backlight lamp so, and even though it's L shape, we can use this straight 54 series LED kit because uh, L and um, with two this LED street is pronounced more, it's actually it's much brighter than uh, it, with the original L shape lamp anyway so based on according to our test um, first we had to remove this wire you know it's taped up uh, wire first loosen up this backlight wires uh, just slowly and uh, no rush don't break do not break this plastic clip we just have to to remove this okay let's see here we go Okay, this one, just loosen it up, okay. Now, second, we have to remove this module. And then, we remove the metal frame, all right? So let's unscrew this. Set it aside the screw, okay. Take it out, okay. There's another screw that holding this piece of small metal. Okay. Oops. Make sure the screw set aside. Otherwise, it may damage the screen. So, take it out. Now, we're gonna try to remove the metal film one side at a time. That's usually what we do. Alright. One side at a time. There's no screws holding it. And. One side at a time. Okay, loosen up a little bit. Okay, okay. You have hold the bottom, take it out. See the metal frame is out. Set aside the metal frame. Now we're gonna take a look at this module, see what's going on because see this is it you still had to hold it Be, let's say this module oh well you can leave it as is you don't want to take it out so it's easier we can take it out this way then get a piece of cardboard so we can see the cardboard all right here we go okay let me just flip over and stick it up. All right. See this? All right. The liquid glass is out. We set it aside. Now here's a uh, the backlight units here. As you can see, I just put my glass on. I don't want to leave my finger mark on the diffusion sheet. So usually what I do is I'm going to remove the sheet like to them all and flip over on the liquid glass. So that way we know um, what the order is. Now, as you can see, this is a uh, proxy glass, a light guiding glass. Right? The lamp was here all around covered by this white sheets here you see this okay you can reuse this or you can just cut them off that's okay don't worry about it it's not a big deal so now let's take out the proxy glass I'm sorry let's remove the lamp see what happens the lamp wire be careful okay all right here's one lamp One lamp is out. Let's do the other one. Just be really careful. Take it out. Why? Take 
out one. The other one is out too. So both are out. So let me take out a uh, diffusion. I'm not diffusion. I'm sorry. A proxy glass. Let's see what happened here. You don't have to. All right. Here you go. Let me take it off. I want to see how we're gonna mount this. Okay. Set on top of the diffusion sheet. And uh, if you want to, we can take out this one too. Uh, this one we don't take it out. Okay, just leave it like that. It's good enough. All right. There we go. You see the backlight lamp? Oh, this one you can take it out too. It's not pretty. Okay, the backlight lamp was actually original lamp was mounted here, like this. So what we do is that we're gonna try to mount it somewhere here and here. Let's see what we can do about this plastic. We might have to cut off the plastic a little. Now here's a uh, backlight assembly with the plastic film. Uh, because this is a plastic, um, so what we're gonna do, and uh, and also using L shaped lamp, we have to open up here, 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 because the lamp is gonna mount, the strip is gonna mount like this. Okay. And again, because the plastic, I would suggest to add one more of the UB54 series heat sink. Uh, on the back of this so make sure I spread sheet the mask faster um, to do that first you need to a uh, um, how we're gonna uh, we're gonna do the markings here and then you kind of measure it and make a markings and uh, make a marking how you're gonna cut it and how you're gonna cut it you can either use a knife or you know just use a certain uh, station try to melt down this plastic a little bit but i would use this tool which is um, you know gonna cut here here and uh, before we do that we have to take everything out and do the measurements and take out this this shit again the bottom one see that you take it out make sure i don't get dirty so um here side see this is a plastic you're gonna cut it so let me get a pen. I'm gonna do the marking here. This is gonna cut it like this. And this one gonna cut it like this. This one's gonna cut it like this. All the way. A little bit. Okay.